subtraction of fractions and mixed numbers. To subtract fractions or mixed numbers, just rewrite the subtraction as adding the opposite. Then proceed as we did with adding fractions or mixed numbers. If you don't want to add the opposite, then just subtract the fraction like you've always been doing, but follow the procedures of adding fractions. For example, 37, I want to subtract a third from 512. And remember, whenever you have to subtract from something, this is actually the second part. It switches around. So let's rewrite this as 512 minus a third. What's your LCD? Well, 3 is completely inside of 12, so actually 12 is going to be the answer. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4. So my common denominator is 12, and let's add the opposite. So I'm going to go plus and minus right there. So we're going to have 5 plus negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And again, if you want to just go 5 minus 4 is 1, that's fine too. So we're going to get 1, 12, and that's our answer. Now, if you want to subtract mixed numbers, I highly recommend you always convert them to improper fractions first. Well, why? Now, let's see. Here, I didn't do that. I just combined my whole parts to get 3. I'm going to subtract the fractional components right here. And then when you subtract, you add the opposite. My LCD is going to be 21 because 7 and 3 are both prime. So when all is said and done, we get an answer of negative 5 21sts. Negative. I get to somehow combine this with the 3, and see, that's difficult. I mean, yeah, you can borrow a whole number of 1 from that and combine it with it. It just gets way too complicated. So let's now do this problem all over again, but change them to improper first. Now let's change our mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we're going to multiply and add, multiply and add, and you're going to get 38 sevenths, and we're going to add the opposites. And for this one, you're going to get 8 thirds. Now we know the common denominator is going to be 21, so I'm going to multiply this by 3. And then this one over here by 7. So our common denominator is going to be 21. 3 times 38, a little nasty, but we can do that. And that's going to give me 114. Plus, over here, I'm going to get negative 56 equals. Now, 114 plus a negative 56, or you can just think of this as 114 minus 56, doesn't matter. We're going to get an answer of 58. Now, 21 goes into 58 two times. Just use long division for that. My remainder is going to be 16. So there's my answer to this problem. Now let's figure out how to subtract on the calculator. Hmm. Maybe I should warn you. Okay, I know exactly how much force is needed to hit this thing without causing damage because I'm a trained professional. So don't try this at home. All right. To subtract, it's pretty much the same thing as addition. All right. But with a mixed number, you got to be more careful. You have to absolutely positively must enclose the last two within their own set of parentheses. Otherwise, you will get the wrong answer. Now, I always tell you to enclose everything within its own set of parentheses for clarity. And remember, there's one more thing we need to do with mixed numbers. Yep, we need to make sure there's a plus sign between the integer or whole part and the fractional part. So now, it's very straightforward. You can type this pretty much exactly as you see this in the calculator. So let's do this next. What is 5 and 3 sevenths minus 2 and 2 thirds? We press clear. And then parentheses, 5 plus 3, divide by 7, close parentheses, minus open parentheses, 2 plus 2, divide by 3, close parentheses, and enter. So now let's write down the 2. This is equal to 2. 
minus 2, enter again. And finally, math, enter, enter again. Now let's write down the fractional part. 16 twenty-fourths, And there's a final answer. Exercise 39, one of my favorite numbers. Let's subtract a series of fraction or mixed number operations. For this problem, give it a try. Well, this one's actually super easy, right? Because we have a common denominator right away. So we can just say it's just 13 on the bottom. And just go 7 minus 2. You don't even have to do the adding the opposite or anything like that. Keep it simple. So, there we go. Now I'd like you to subtract these two numbers right here. Well, the first step is we need to put the whole number over 1. So there we go. Between 1 and 16, my common denominator is going to be 16. So multiply this one, top and bottom, by 16. So, common denominator 16, it's going to be 16 times 2 is 32, plus negative, I'm going to add the opposite, and that's just going to be negative 3. We put those together, we're going to get 29 sixteenths. Now let's subtract these two mixed numbers right here. Well, either procedure would work, but I'll just stick with the improper fraction method right here. So I'm going to multiply and add, multiply and add. And you're going to get 35, 6, and I want to add the opposite, plus a minus up there. And this is going to give me 2 down here, and I'm going to have 5 up here. My LCD is going to be 6 because 2 is completely inside of 6. So I need to multiply this one, top and bottom, by 3. And let's get this together. So I'm going to have 6 down here. 35 plus negative 15, or 35 minus 15, it doesn't matter. This is going to give us 26. I can reduce that to get 10 thirds. Now, if we have mixed numbers to start with, you should end with mixed numbers. So doing some long division, you're going to get 3 and 1 third. Now I'd like you to subtract these two mixed numbers. I'm going to first convert them to improper fractions. So I mean, 4 times 12 plus 1, and then 1 times 16 plus 5. And I'm going to get 49 twelfths. I'm going to add the opposite. And over here, I want to have 16 on the bottom, and you're going to have 21 on top. What's the least common denominator going to be? Hmm, good question. Well, if we start breaking these up, you're going to get 3 and 4, 2 and 2. 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. So it's going to have, it has to have all these 2s and this 3. So that's going to be 16 times 3 is 48. So that is going to be my LCD, 48. Now I need to multiply this by something, and this by something. Well, 4 times 12 is 48. 3 times 16 is 48. 4 times 49 is 196. Plus negative 21 times 3 is 63. Now, we have 196 plus negative 63. Or you can think of this as just 96 minus 63. It doesn't make a difference. So you're going to get 133. Ooh, we need to reduce that. Well, you can just use long division again, and you're going to get 2 as an answer. And what's the remainder going to be? 37 out of 48. So this was a little bit tougher, but I hope you did it right.